Hi, welcome to your tutorials point. In this video series, we are going to start C programming language. C is a very basic and fundamental programming language for the beginners in order to getting started with the programming language and the basics of it. So in this video series, we will cover each and every aspects from the basic to the advanced in which we will see what all we can do while working with the programming language called C. But before getting started with C, in this particular video, we will cover what is a programming language and what is the use of it. So basically, if I'll say something about a programming language, so as the name says, it's a language means it will be used in order to make the communication, a communication with a computer system to tell like what all I want to do in that particular program. So as for the communication, we every time use a language like currently I'm talking with you guys in English. Similarly, I can opt any other language which I know such as Hindi or English or maybe any other regional or international language. So using those language, we will exchange our thoughts. We will give some instruction which will be provided by the one to whom I'm making the communication. So here we will be communicating with a system, with a machine. So we will be using any programming language. While using a programming language, you will be offered some syntax that you can also relate to the grammar of any particular language. So using an appropriate grammar, you can use any language in order to make a communication. So uh, as here you can see, a computer program is a sequence of instructions written using a computer programming language to perform specific tasks by the computer. So that is what I said, like whenever I'm writing a program, I'm giving some instructions to the machine. And the act of writing a program is called computer programming means writing a program. You can also relate it with the coding. You do the coding while writing a program and whatever you, you are doing is a programming. A computer programming language is a language which is used to write a computer program. Like nowadays we have a number of languages like C, C++, assembly language we used to work, uh, Java, Python, PHP, C Sharp and many more. So using any of these languages, you can write a program which will communicate with a system. But the issue is if I'm talking with someone in English, and if I want him to do some task, which I'm saying, the one important thing is he should also understand the my language. So for that, first thing is either I should talk to him in the language he knows, or I require a translator, which will translate my language to his language in order to make him understand the task. So initially, we used to write a computer program in the computer language only that is in the machine language. But learning a machine language is very difficult for a human being as it is a binary and it will be using some tough codes for writing a single program. But yes, since that language can easily be understand by a system, no translation will be required. So the performance will be better. But practically writing a program in a machine language is not that easy. So we started working with some mnemonics, which is an English type word to give some instructions. But in the language like assembly, we used to work with mnemonics. But even there, we have a big list of all the mnemonics in order to perform a single task. So keeping all the mnemonics in our mind is again a big challenge for a programmer. So what we used to do, we started working with the from computer programming languages. But if we are using C or C++ or any other programming language, even if we are working with assembly. So we need to make these languages understand by a computer. And for that, we require a translator. So what we will do as here, you can see for the languages like where we use something called scripting, like PHP, Python, Perl, we will have some interpreter, a interpreter will translate the code with the machine code and after that it will be able to make the execution. But for the languages like C, C++ or Java, we have something called compiler. 
A compiler will compile the complete code means the translate the complete code to the machine language and if everything is syntactically fine after a successful compilation you will be able to execute the code. When you use the interpreter along with the translation it will keep on executing the code but here first of all compiler will compile the complete code and will save the compiled result in a separate file which will be carrying the machine or binary language in case of C or C++. But if it is about Java the compiler will compile the complete code and will save in a class file which would be carrying the byte code. Similarly for the different languages we have different outputs. Suppose if you are working with .NET after the compilation you will be getting the MSIL that is Microsoft Intermediate Language. So every time when you will write a program you will use a translator either an interpreter for the scripting languages or any compiler a specific compiler for the specific programming language. When we will start working practically with C language I'll show you how to make such compilations to execute a program. This is all about this video.